Warning. Warning. We are under attack. All IT personnel report to the armory crate. Whoa! It's going to be a straightforward video. Um, I will basically cycle to the um, items. Okay. I'm sorry it's in Portuguese, but I think the location is the same. So, and our sync is our sync. Either be Portuguese or English, so I think there's no dramas there. But don't worry, the video will be completely in English. Let's start. When you open Armory Crate, you'll be presented with the start page, landing page, uh, what you want to call it. And here is like the command center, you get to control an overview um, most of your stuff uh, there's nothing much uh, actually you can check the frequency have a lovely graphic whatever you ra rarely see uh, you can adjust the R sync uh, mine is on rainbow you can put it on starry nights I use that a lot it's calming, uh, makes me relax sometimes. Rainbow for the default, we all know the rainbow puke. Uh, we have static, yes, smart, it's very good. I'll show you that in a minute. But let's keep the things going. Then you have the profiles. The profiles are basically profiles that you create and they will automatically change between uh, applications. That's very good, very helpful. Um, and fan speed. Um, you either have fan experts in the AI suite. Uh, I don't have that. Less software, I think. <laughs> Let's not overload the system. Um, and I can just... Uh, I, I, in the moment I don't have anything selected because it's running or it's reading the bio the bios uh, settings that I left in the QFAN so but you can change it to silence standard turbo full speed the only downside is the, the curves you can't change uh, at least in armory crate so that's it but very very useful sometimes you can set it to silence and during the night you will just hear the tick tock of the clock. You have the some games you have installed. Um, you can add either be Steam, Blizzard, Blizzard, whatever. And my profile in the Armory Crate section. You can log in and I don't have to log in right now. But pretty much it, and you can check temperatures, that's it, usage, <laughs> that's it, um, fans, yeah, I don't have a CPU fan, my AIO is connected to the AIO pump, I have an adder uh, for that, for that. Uh, voltages, <laughs> pretty simple actually. Uh, let's get going, next tab. So now you have devices. Here it will show all your devices. Uh, you can control some settings in the board, uh, like uh, if you want uh, the RGB always on, always off, which setting, uh, addressable strips, that's it. Very uh, limited configurations, but let's go to the more uh, important stuff. Now you can control the um, your keyboard, your ROG keyboard. I have the Strix Flare, so what can you do here? A lot, actually. You can click here, change whatever you like. That's pretty awesome. You can choose a, a macro, 
uh, shortcut. Well, think of the possibilities if you're, I don't know, working in Excel. Yes, Excel. I said Excel. Uh, if you're playing some games that require some key combinations, for instances, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Lighting. What do you get? Well, standard options, of course. Uh, those are pretty cool. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't show it on the Strix, Strix Flare video. Um, well, it's maybe a video for the future. Subscribe. Uh, those themes are actually quite good, but simple. You can create more with the Aura Creator, but that is another topic for another time. Let's go. Then you can, well, change settings between the lighting themes you pick. Uh, let's see that. You, you can change the, the colors, the speed, the, the brightness of the LEDs. Can do it or you can just click our sync and it will sync with the remaining ROG stuff um, to me I don't have the keyboard and the mouse uh, synced because I do have profiles you'll see it uh, this tab is just for more updates so <laughs> no biggie there you know it what it is now let's go to the mouse I have the Gladius 2 origin yeah that's it same as ever. Same as before. You can change stuff. You can, yeah, you can do a lot with it. Uh, change settings, uh, macro, something. Quite good. Quite good indeed. Well, I know most uh, softwares from top end models have this, but I like it. Okay, now, well, like I said, you have profiles. So you, between profiles, you can set different DPIs, and between uh, on one profile, you can have two DPIs uh, that you can change with the DPI button. Very, very good. Especially when uh, I'm video editing, I can do some precision things, so I change DPI. Uh, very very helpful. In the games I have a different DPI setting, a little bit higher. So pretty much it. <laughs> now lighting, same as a keyboard. You'll have very very, not so much as a keyboard, but quite a handful of themes and you can, uh, well, or sync it. Uh, next up, calibrate. Well, that's not, uh, it's not much, but, well, uh, you have um, some surfaces you can choose from. Well, I do have the ROG sheet, so I just selected these. You can also select the elevation distance. Okay. Manual calibration. Well, I, I actually, I've never done this, but it's quite accurate, the mouse. I don't have any complaints. Um, and firmware update. We all know what it is. Next up, my headset. I'm talking right now to it. What do we have here? So, loading. Yeah. Loading. That's good. So, it's connected... Uh, uh, wi -Fi, oh, by Wi-Fi, so I have a dongle connected. I can connect with the USB-C cable and the jack, but I have it uh, right now with the, the wireless dongle, so... Um, I don't think that you can control these with the jack, I believe. Uh, and the firmware updates, you have to do it with your USB-C, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't do it with the dongle. Um, that's uh, the feedback I got from the forums, but moving on. 
here you can change I'm not gonna change because it will affect the audio so you can have games uh, music racing games you can change that you can change the equalizer you can change the the AI noise cancelling so while I'm talking um, some external noises are being blocked which is good um, and then you have the energy and you can set the standby timeout I have to the maximum because I don't want it to time out if I uh, go up do something else and that's it and you also have the profiles that you can change uh, automatically I'll show it in a minute give me just a minute then what do we have more the water cooler ROG Ryogen let's check it out what can you do right here well you can change uh, what the OLED shows currently I'm just I, I, I just have a the Ryzen logo running, but I can have the, the t CPU temperature, the AIO, AIO pump speed. Uh, in the past update, I had the, the possibility to monitor GPU. Now it's gone. How oh, so bad? But I hope they can bring it back. And you can also oh, write some stuff. That's pretty amazing. I will write some stuff for you guys uh, it's not much but audience is great oh I can do <laughs> is oh I can write is great <laughs> that's pretty much it and let's just keep the logo uh, you can upload your own or choose from this small gallery. Moving on. Lighting. Yeah, it has a, a addressable RGB strip so you can change. That's it. In currently it's aura synced. Only the keyboard and the mouse are not, so it will sync with the rest of the stuff. Now it's fan speeds. You can set the fan speeds for the AIO only then you can have the same stuff uh, silence uh, standard turbo uh, full speed but I have created two two one uh, two profiles that are ultra quiet which is very very quiet I can even hear the computer and normal quiet you need to have a uh, fans expert to control better. Oh, I was told of that. So, but if you don't have the fan experts, um, I'm afraid that below 40%, the Noctua fans will stop spinning, which not, which is not bad if you want a complete silence. Uh, CPU temp is great. Um, well. Normally, idling goes for 30, browsing 40, doing something like, like I'm right now, maybe 45, games 50, and that's it. Edit, well, video editing 60, some, and with a very slow, you can see that. Um, I like a very quiet computer. Well, one extra feature you can uh, set the, the integrated fan yeah you can set the integrated fan uh, and that is very very useful uh, fan it's on the water block uh, it can help you cool the VRMs and your NVMe and your RAM, um, well I have it on the minimum because I have extra cooling on the front 
I, I am rocking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fans on the computer, but still very quiet. Uh, yeah, that's it. The three from the GPU are stopped right now. Uh, two on the front are working, the exhaust is working, two from the right engine is working. Very quiet overall. Let's keep the show on the road. Then we have the firmware update. Moving on! Let's do this. Aura Sync. That's the stuff. Now you can see all your devices here. Board, that which control the, uh, the strips, uh, the LED strips. If you have extras, you can have... You, you have two headers. Two RGB headers and one uh, ARGB header. Uh, you have the flare, which is a cleaver. I, I mentioned that is not synced because I have specific profiles for it. The mouse as well. Then the GPU, the water cooler, the external uh, drive uh, are all synced. And you can even hook to a Philips Hue hub to control some lighting in the house. That's cool, but I don't have Philips Hue, I have IKEA Tratlis, so no such luck. And now the effects, the light effects. Not much, but you can create. They will show up here, but I don't have any. These are all I need right now, but I'm very curious to, to, to create some. Maybe some other time I'll I'll create some. The ones I like the most are static. Uh, the rainbow puke as a default, starry night, because it's very relaxing to see that. I do enjoy it. Uh, I don't use music that much, but smart, I do. Let me show you that. Well, in the OLEDs of my Ryogen, I have the CPU temp, and the RGB will show me the GPU temp. And if it goes past uh, 53, it will become yellow. If it goes past 63, it will become red. It, uh, luckily, my GPU doesn't go much, much farther than 63. It has a good cooling, actually. Uh, well, <laughs> and that's it. Let's keep the show on the road. Here you have your games. I won't spend too much here. Like I said, you can have other than just Steam. But they are not appearing. Ah, it's the recent. Moving on. There's not much to see here. I don't launch the games here. But this one is very, very, very useful. Profile. Let me show you that. You can... As soon as you launch, the desired uh, applications, it will change your devices to your liking. The volume will become this, the keyboard will have profile number two, the mouse as well. They have different settings from just using it on Windows. The headset will pick games and the other thing will change to smart, like I said. Very, very, yes, very, very helpful. Uh, same you have for browse, for browsing the internet. I uh, had one for video editing, I don't know why I removed it, I have to edit it again. But you can choose your DPI values, your lighting value, everything to match what you're doing, which is very, very, very useful. Let's keep going. Now, tools. Well, not much. You have some uh, software that you can install it by uh, settings that uh, updates that you can download your manual. That's it. Here are some promos. Okay, promos. I think not much. I uh, I bought one or two from here because it was. A very, very good promotion. Um, 
so sometimes it's, it's worth it, but you can check Steam promos on Steam, on Instant Gaming, but if you have more to pick from, the better price you can, I don't know, get. <laughs> well, keep going. And this is the news. Uh, well, you won't spend much here. Uh, at least I don't. You can go directly to the ROG uh, forum. And, well, <laughs> that's it. That's pretty much it. And lastly, settings. This is your landing page. I have it uh, on the Eurosync because that's that's what I want. Uh, you can choose different uh, themes uh, as a, a standard, tough gaming, ROG. Uh, you have the, the updates. I have some to do. If you don't do some updates, uh, things won't. Well, you won't control things, but uh, recently uh, Armory Crate won't uh, uh, well, tell you or mandate to update it. Uh, you can use older armory crates um, and that's it. You, this is what is updated and this is what needs to be updated. And yeah. Lastly, this can be very helpful if you need to seek support, including uh, copy to the to the clipboard. So um, yeah, if you need support, yeah, that's where you get your. Uh, um, um, sorry guys, but that's it. It's just a, a small video with Armory Crate explained. I hope it helped you. Uh, I find the software. Uh, very good, actually. Uh, I've seen some art, heartbroken people with this software, but I haven't had a lot of problems with it. I have had a problem with the Gladius mouse. It's now fixed. Um, it was just the RGB. That was um, it was not it was not the RGB. It it was the profile section. You um, it wouldn't appear here only uh, after 10 or 15 minutes after you boot your Windows. But after that, it worked normally. It was only stress I had with ROG Armory Crate, and <laughs> I I hope it keep that way. A lot of people said it has problems, but I find this a very good software. Uh, uh, you need it. You definitely need it. Uh, and you will definitely enjoy it. And if they improve it, as they always do, you will enjoy it better. I wish I had the fan experts options uh, here, but well. It's all good for me, for now. I'm not very demanding. I'm not. Well, I'm. I'm not also the opposite of of that. But this is more than enough for me. And that's it. Well, guys, I hope you liked it. Let's go downstairs and end the video. Wow, that was a tough one. I'm glad it's over. I hope you liked it. Subscribe and see you next time.